Hi guys, in the last video I showed you how I designed the Objects Link B1.6 and the RISC 5 edition. As you may have seen, the board don't have pinout like other boards. So how is it possible to use Objects Link to develop prototypes? This video is sponsored by PCBWay. You can order your PCBs for only $5. Also, you can order 3D parts with PCBWay new printing services. You can find all links below in the description. So, to interfacing with objects link JPOs, we need a special module called Socket and a custom PCBs with all pins. The socket is designed to simplify the integration of objects link into another custom PCBs by avoiding the soldering of small slim stack connectors. Then the protoboard is made of a socket and a simple PCB with all pins and the seal screen that shows the name of each pin. So first of all I put solder paste on the socket PCB and then I place the old slim stack connectors. It may seem simple to do that, but you need to have a proper equipment. It might be tricky for people who have never sold their component this small. And the slim stack connectors I used are really very small and all objects link to be a very compact board compared to another similar products. As you can see, after soldering with the hot air gun, some bridges are created due to the extra solder paste. Afterwards, I cleaned the board with the isopropylic alcohol and an ESD brush. After soldering the socket, I proceed to apply solder paste on the pads where the socket will be soldered next. Now I proceed to place the socket and check to see if I'm placing it correctly by checking that the perimeter lines of the socket match up perfectly with the space taken up by the socket. So it's time for a flow soldering and after cooling the PCB I proceed with the final cleaning. So guys, the final result is awesome. The installation of Objects Link on the protoboard is really simple and as you can see the slim stack connectors allow to keep the highest compactness between Objects Link and the module. Moreover, all versions of Objects Link are compatible with the new protoboard because the pinout is designed to be compatible regardless of the version of Objects Link. With the Objects Link, developing prototypes has never been so easy. Having more protoboards and only one Objects Link board, you can work on several prototypes without unplugging the wires from the board as we are used to with another board on the market. I remind you that the project, so the socket and the protoboard are open source, so you can find all links in the description to develop your custom module for Objects Link. And also uh, I will put on sale the first unit of Objects Link V1.6 and RISC 5 edition on Tindy. And finally I invite you to read the documentation of Objects Link and visit the official website. Thank you for watching the video until the end and see you next video.